this goes back out to you, hairy shite bastard. You're good for nothing. Aged you. Let's just make a few things clear here first of the world. I was talking to your fair play man, Paul Joyce. He, I was talking to him on the phone. I wasn't talking to my fair play man, it was your fair play man I was talking to. And the word he asked me, he says, any chance of dropping the money or if not fighting for a lesser amount? Now, just let's make this clear. That can't come from your fair play man, that'd have to come from you. My fair play man couldn't do that. If me and you agreed to fight for money, that could only come from you. Your fair play man could say, oh, we'll get the money dropped. That'd have to come from you, Joe. So stop acting a big shite down front of the world making an you never says this shit. You didn't want to fight for money. You know it came from you and I do. And the whole world knows well. Now that's that out of it. You're fighting for it. Make sure you get it down. And I'm taking it off you. I'm dating you like an ass. Then he asked me, Paul Joyce again. Not Martin now, my fair play, man. Martin McDonough. Paul Joyce asked me again. Any chance, he says, I get the two younger fellas fights caught off. Now, what's that to do with me? But he asked me. I told him straight up. I said, no. He said, my brother Jerry and Tom are super fit now, and it says the four fights is happening that day, there's no fights getting called off. Again, that wasn't my fair payment to ask me that, that was yours. So stop with all the bullshit you're trying to make yourself look good in front of the world. That's what your fair payment asked me. I don't tell no lies. If Paul wants to go make a lie of me, he can't. Because that's the word you told me. Simple as that. It's you the one that's trying to give a big down in front of the world. You're the ones that didn't want to fight for the money, and you're trying to pull the two younger fellas out. But now you're not dumb like you say, you don't want to say it in the camera. But I tell the truth. It's the God's truth. Now let me go back to another thing. Right about my father. My father said bet. My father never said bet to any man in his life. My father bet your father three times outside the pub. Your own father says it on the tape, so he's up and out. My father bet him like an ass, bet him. He had to give best. He says, you had me bet on that. Now listen to me. The day that they fought after that, when your father got to fight, my father put out his name. My father never says bet. He says, Joe, you got to fight in the day, he says, but I'll be back. And back he can, but your father wouldn't fight. He's chased him for the last... God as many years is, and he won't fight. Now, my father be there on the 27th, Sunday week. Well, where's your big shite of a father? The dirty, big, hairy shite bastard. The asshole, will he be there? No, the dirty, cowardly bastard won't, because he knows you're not out for my father. A shite, like his sons, shites the whole lot. Of you pack of inbred bastards. Right about what you do to my two small eyes. You should be the last one in the world talking about eyes. Did you see that joke you're rearing? What you call him, Teddy? I call him Streck. He's the same face of one eye going here, the other eye going on to the right. Miles, cross-eyed bastard, how would he be able to be a fighter? A Teletubby, the Strex bastard. Grams, you owns him and you're rearing him. They made to see a dog him, just to keep him off a camera, to stay in that little yoke. Can you think of a fighting son, the make of him? A cross-eyed little bastard, inbred bastards the whole lot of you. Now, come out on the day for your bait and we'll see who does what to who. I believe you lying in your back with your two eyes rolling in your head and that's a promise to you. I'm putting you asleep. You're good for nothing, Joyce's bastard. We are the O'Donnells and we're your bosses. I can't wait for Sunday week. And I'm super fit too. And I can't wait to get you out front of me. Now, shite, I'm not bothered what you get back to me. The next time you see me, Sunday week, out front you. But to make it clear to the world, ye were the ones that tried to cut off the money, your fair play man, and tried to cut off fights. Simple as that. My fair play man never talked to me in another thing. You're right about Mousy Carty. I never talked to Mousy Carty about these fights whatsoever, and that man hadn't talked to me. The only man I talked about this fight is you, uh, Paul Joyce. So, if you're out about Mousy and Paul tried to get the money squashed, no, Paul tried to get the money squashed with me. Simple as that. And I'll see you Sunday week.